All right, guys, I'm playing War Robots. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. He had four spears. The other guy has got, like, two spears. Uh, what is it called? He's got a spikes. Two spikes, sorry. And um, a stake. <laughs> no chance. Destroyed every robot we had in the team. And and they won pretty quick as well. <laughs> I, I thought we had a chance, you know. I thought we had a chance. I was like, yeah, we're, we're going to do it, guys. We're going to do it. And then, nope. Right, we, we will try again, see if we can do something. Try again. You got annihilated. <laughs> you got hit hard. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? I was like, what's happening? The team was just finishing, you know, like really quickly. I was like, until they just, they kind of gave up. So I was like, hmm. I think he's got the same robot as mine. But if he's got those spike things, I don't want to get close to him. Because <laughs> <laughs> that thing destroyed all the robots in the other game. I don't know what he's using. And then he hides. Right, I'm just going to run away from this bad situation. Because <laughs> I don't know what he's using. I'm like, what is he using? You know what? It's not like mine. It's a different robot. Yeah, it's a snake thing. Oh, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> oh, my God, he's coming here. <laughs> Why is he running away? <laughs> that thing can fly. My God. You see? It's that serpent thing. You see that? It can fly. It's a new robot, basically. I don't like these new robots. Some of them are overpowered, you know? So I'm hitting him from a distance, and he's trying to come up close and personal. So I'm like, no, bro. Oh, damn, he's frozen me. No, no. Oh, thank God. I think he's fallen. <laughs> God. Oh, my God. Look at him. In, in his excitement, look, he killed, he killed himself. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny, you know. I was like, how can you do something weird? So, no. no, I'm happy because that thing, it seemed too powerful. You get what I'm saying? These new robots, some of them are way too powerful. So I'm actually happy. I'm like, good, man. You know, <laughs> good hunting. <laughs> Thank you for uh, your sacrifice. And I'm pretty sure now his piss is probably having to use a crappy robot right now. You see? So going from that overpowered robot to some some crappy one. What's that thing? Is that a shell? I don't I don't want a shell. To, no, it's an angler. Oh, so this guy's got good robots on him. Ah uh, damn. I got me anglers too. But we we're, we're winning though, that's a good sign. You know what? I'm I'm so curious. I want to use the angler now. <laughs> My mind is like, why didn't you wait? I'm like, no. Why does this guy stay in a bad situation? How how do you stay in that thing? Oh shit! No man. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, they took they took a lot of my life, man. Oh, that's that stick thing does a lot of damage. Did you see that? It did a lot of damage to that guy. No, let me not go up there. 
it did a lot of damage to that titan did you see that that's um that's uh stake thing i hit him a few times and and i saw the damage i was like hmm it's unfortunate that angler isn't leveled up enough it's only a level seven i think Right, so Mars has got his spike on him. I'm keeping the shield, uh, that turret thing on for a moment. Uh, then I'm going to use it. Yes, go Titan Slayer. Titan Slayer! So, oh, yeah, this is another Titan I hate the most. <laughs> I don't like this Titan. I've got, I've got two of these Titans, but I still don't like it. I don't know, man. They they bring titans and then they make them weak as you know. I don't know why they do that. Oh my god! Look at look, look at this! Look at this! I'm gonna destroy him. There, titan slayer times two. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How do you bring in a titan and a robot can destroy a titan? That's that's why I, I I cannot agree with anybody who tells me, oh no, it's just a thing. It's not a thing. Where's uh, my mothership thing? Oh man, come on, this guy's hitting me now. Oh my god, let's get him. Yes. Oh my god. No, 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 I'm not gonna be able to destroy anything now. This is this is the setup I like, you see? Ah damn. <laughs> I wasn't able to do any damage. So the new robots, well, that's the new Titan Rook. I think that's the pilot there. Oh, she's a new, she's a new uh, pilot. Misa Rooks, uh, Riggs, uh, Titans. Mercenary fail. The time between explosion and Rook's shield in uh, shield replacement secondary ability and teleportation of new physical shields is reduced by two seconds. Uh, that's uh, Ravenheart Rook's durability is increased by 10%. Unstoppable damage dealt by Rook's force field in the Castling primary ability is increased. Uh, new robots. Uh, Crisis. That is a badass robot. Th this is a sniper robot, this one. Look at that. Four heavy weapons. <laughs> oh my god, four. So you got four prismas. Imagine the damage you'll be doing. Yandi. So this one is of Ophiel. I don't know that snake robot thing. That's that's a deadly robot. Unfortunately, that guy got too happy and and ended up. You know, what? I didn't use Erebus in this one. I need to use Erebus. I wanted to play Modern Warfare, guys, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't get to it today. Maybe tomorrow or something. I'll actually do a small video of it, because I, I did set up my Steam Deck for this, uh, so...
I set up the Steam Deck to play Modern Warfare. It's just, I, I didn't get... I, I wouldn't say I didn't get enough time to do what I wanted to do. Oh, I hate that bull robot. You know, I got five of them. I don't use them. I don't like them. But the people that use them, they do a lot of damage, you know. Oh, that's that sphinx thing. Oh, my God. I hate this thing. And look at that. It's just doing damage. Oh, my. You see? What? I lost the robot just like that. Damn it. <laughs> We're getting grinded by the, whoever. Whoever this team is, they're quite good, you know. I'm used to playing with those people that don't know what they're doing. <laughs> but these guys really know what, what's up, you know. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm controlling this, I'm using a DualSense controller. So if you're wondering how am I controlling the game, I'm using a DualSense controller. Uh, it's plugged into the hub. I'm using um, a hub. So I used to have uh, the Steam Deck connected to two monitors. I, I, I disconnected one because one of them is connected to my switch oled i do play games on oled i play warface i i play fortnite i don't think i've i've played fortnite on the oled as such i haven't played fortnite on the oled the games that i've mostly played or shown on youtube are figure uh figure is a stealth game it's like a battle royale except it's every man for himself type of game it's a very good game, but it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's just, oh, that's a Mars robot. I was wondering what robot that was. <coughs> Sorry. You know this game, you always feel like you're playing by yourself. No one else comes to your rescue. Nobody comes to rescue, you know? You just feel like you're playing by yourself. Uh, did I get in? Yes. I just don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm getting targeted by everyone. Everyone's trying to kill me. And no one, no one's trying to help me. Oh my God. I need, I need to escape this mess, man. You know, no one comes to help you in this game. That's why I hate about this game. I mean, I like playing it, but it's just frustrating when no one, nobody cares. Like, oh. Maybe if we go and help this guy, we'll, we'll, we'll capture the beacons or something. No, no, no. They don't think like that. It's just when you're in trouble, no one to find. <laughs> you won't find them. You see, suddenly it just pops up from nowhere. But all along, they just let, let, let me die. Uh, come on. Why don't other people come and help? You know, we're losing this game. Oh my god. You see, this is a good thing I can go invisible. Otherwise, I'll be screwed. <laughs> What's this guy this is just breathing fire and, and stuff? And I'm like, why is it no one helping? Wow. Got lucky there. That guy was breathing fire on me. <laughs> I was like, what? Jesus, look at this guy. This guy is crazy. No, I had to hide a bit because obviously this guy is just... Oh my...
my god, he's dying. Yes, got him. Oh, my. Okay, we've got a luchando on our side, and there's another luchando on their side. I really need to help this guy. You see, the way I operate, I operate totally different from these dudes. Oh my god, he went down. That's a pity. I'm gonna destroy this Luchin though. I don't care if I lose my Titan. As long as, as, long as I cause damage. Ah, damn, he, j he had to jump. <laughs> I was like, why? Why did I lose my Titan? Oh, come on, man. Oh, I don't know what's up with my internet or oh, what's going on. It's just, you see that? It's even saying so. Oh my god, these people are using fire, man. Oh my god, this guy is going to use fire now. This is just becoming a fire game. Come on, stop doing that, man. Get out of my way. <laughs> He's pushing me into the fire. What kind of teammate are you? Well, at least it's helping, because everyone else has totally forgotten about this game. We're not even losing. We're actually winning for a change, <laughs> you know, for a change. Oh, this dude. Let's see if I can destroy him. Come on. Yes. Fantastic. I'm doing this all with one robot. Imagine. We're actually winning. I am totally shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. Look at this guy, he's got lasers. Oh, that's an angler. All right. I would have never known. Oh, damn, look, look at what my drone is doing. It's firing a laser. It's firing a laser. You hear that noise? That's, that's the drone. The drone thing that I was with. Oh, my God. Ah, damn. Yeah, that noise. That's the drone. I was like, where's that noise coming from? Oh, come on, man. Let me get... Oh, we won. <laughs> we won. Oh, my God. Finally. Um, They're saying that um, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is actually uh, rumored to be coming out. Uh, they said the first platform is going to go on his PlayStation. And it's coming as a demo as well. The first, um, like, platform it will come to will be PlayStation, Sony. So, and that's Modern Warfare 3. And I, I recently bought Modern Warfare 2. The whole game cost me 60 pounds. And I was like, what? I, I got this game recently. And now the, the part 3 is coming out. I'm like, why? Because, you know, you know, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm not big on spending money. You understand? I don't like to spend money and then find out that the game... Another game, or the same game that I like playing, uh, another game is going to come out. But I'm wondering, will that work on the Steam Deck? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Destroy enemies in Victorious Battle. Okay, so I need to destroy 10 more. I really want to use the Erebus, because I have a feeling that Erebus is going to do so much damage to these. Erebus, uh, the one I keep talking about is this uh, robot right here. Got two Prismas, those do 1,100 meters. Those are like sniper things, and this, uh, I don't know what it's called, this laser weapon does up to 800 meters. So this Titan on its own is it can do a lot of damage. Can do a lot of damage. You know what I want to do? Actually, this, this first robot, I'm not saying anything bad, but I mean, he's, he's just got too much on him. I mean, I've given him too much. I want to give the Erebus just like some encouragement. So I'm going to give him this weapon here. The nuclear amplifier and it's got a repair amplifier. I'm just saying, I, I feel like it's it's going to be beneficial, you know. Um, It's been uh, quite some time since I played this on uh, the Windows one. Mostly I was playing this on SteamOS. 
I, I know what I said last time. Oh, it doesn't work. Blah, blah, blah. It, it works on, on Steam operating system. It works because I've got it. I've got two two Steam Decks. I've got one on Windows 11 Pro and I've got one on Steam operating system. And I guarantee War Robots works on both. But I do prefer the War Robots on Windows. That's just a personal pre preference. And the, the reason why it's a personal preference, you know what, I want to move this nuclear amplifier to one of these um, anglers. I don't know, I, I just feel like the anglers do need a bit more support. Because this dude's got a... Um, I'm going to give him a, a, an armor kit. The only reason I'm doing this, he's got an immune amplifier, so he's immune to certain things. This guy's got repair and uh, immune amplifier, that's mouse. Uh, this guy's got uh, immune amplifier, this guy's got immune amplifier, and this one's got repair and nuclear amplifier. So I'm going to give this guy uh, the, the other nuclear amplifier. The reason why I'm doing that is I just feel like I've got too, ma too much of these things. You know, I don't like keeping so much of the old stuff, you know. And I think things do go down. So he's got immune amplifiers, got two armor kits. Uh, he's got a repair amplifier, immune amplifier, and armor kit. He's got an immune amplifier, nuclear amplifier, armor kit. He's got an immune amplifier and armor kit. He's got a repair amplifier and nuclear amplifier. Right. Um, so in this hangar, I've got a neither. I've got Mars, I've got uh, Angler, I've got another Angler, and I've got Erebus. On the need, I've got two clothes. Those are heat seeking missiles, got Spark. Those are, I don't know, they, they just auto target your um, the enemy, but they like, they like, I don't know, they, they like electricity. Like, they, they just connect to your enemy. They cause a lot of damage, especially if you've got shields. And you see the advantage of the clothes. The, those are the missiles, uh, heat seeking missiles that go over. Like it's the enemies hiding behind, um, um, uh, I don't know, like if the building's not too high and he's hiding behind it, the clothes will actually, the missiles go over the building. So they, 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 they're not like typical missiles that just hit like into the wall. So if you're hiding and these things get you, like they target you properly, and let's say the wall's not that high, they'll actually go over the wall and hit you. But they hit seeking, so they will definitely cause damage. Uh, Mars got two of the fainters. These are uh, lockdown weapons. So that means if they hit you enough times, you get stuck in one place, and then the spear of the spike does a lot of damage to those four robots. That spike thing. That's the only weapon I know that causes so much damage. Uh, these two blights, like I said, radiation weapons. Uh, Blaze is a flamethrower, and then Stake is the same as the as this spike thing. Just that the spike is, um, I think, the spike. It's a medium weapon and stake is a heavy weapon. Uh, for the other angler, three blight stores are radiation weapons and a lockdown weapon, which is puncher. Uh, lockdown obviously uh, means that you can't move if you hit him enough times. And this one does refuel every five seconds. So, <laughs> you know, and then blight is every three seconds. Blight radiation obviously de destroys your armor. Uh, this is an Erebus. Uh, I've got a, I think that's a laser weapon. And then the two prismas are laser weapons, but they're more um, they're more concentrated. I, I don't know how to describe it. The prismas break through your shield, basically. So you could have one prisma, and then you could have other weapons that cause a lot of heavy damage. But because I I personally consider the Erebus as a sniper robot, it's not like a... You can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. If you've got good weapons, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe head on with the, with the enemy robot. But my personal opinion is this is a sniper robot. He does fire something from the top here. I don't know what it's like. Uh, it's like um, it stuns the enemy so the enemy can't move. And you got these prisoners, you cause so much damage to the enemy, especially for the en energy shield, then that laser. Imagine once you cut through the, the shield, then that laser finishes off the enemy. So that's why I'm saying. The combination here is neither is a fast robot, right? He's the one that can do all the speeding stuff. I think that's the only robot that can do the speed um, thing. The, it's got five speed um, boosts or whatever you want to call it. 
So that's why I've got me today. Uh, Mars, I like Mars because the turret thing on his head and he drops that. Then I've got the, also I've got the, I've got the actual pilot. So this with this pilot, um, you know, when you drop the turret, you get speed, like he gets faster. And then with this angler, actually, I think I've got all the pilots. This is the correct pilot for Nida. After each activation of the ability, Nida repairs durability for five, uh, three seconds. So, but that is the actual pilot. I've got two pilots. I've got the other guy who's like a frozen type pilot. Um, okay, I will, I'll actually show you. If I find him, uh, I should find him. I've got two of those pilots actually. I, I've never used the other one. I think this guy was in someone else. This this one is another uh, pilot for Nida. After Nida used uh, its ability, it receives shield breaker for five seconds. So that's the other dude there for Nida. Like I said, I've got two pilots, but I just used that uh, that dude there. Uh, what does he do? <laughs> Off the, uh, repairs your, okay, he repairs durability. Okay, fine. Uh, this mask got the actual pilot for Mars, which is good. Angler, yeah, I've got the actual pilot. Angler, ability duration increased by 20%, so I've got the actual pilot for that, for Angler. Uh, for the other Angler, I didn't get the actual pilot, but I've got this, like I said, some of the pilots do support um, like durability or uh, fixing up your robot. She actually can repair your robot. So it says Trixie endorsement. Thanks to thanks to the Trixie little assistant, the cooldown of the repair unit and the advanced repair unit is reduced by seven seconds. So her ability basically is uh, healing. So I couldn't find another pilot for Angler, so that's why I, I used that one. Uh, this is Jad's uh, competitiveness. Uh, all of Erebus built-in uh, cannon missiles now deal damage. So I don't know what built-in cannon missile. Uh, so I think I think what that means is basically instead of just stunning your enemy, you know, like like um, normal. Uh, I think what it's saying is basically it would cause damage as well. Because usually it doesn't cause damage, it just it keeps you still, like a lockdown weapon. So I think that's what uh, they're saying there. And the good thing about this, they all have uh, legendary pilots and they've all got drones that are kind of level. This drone is level 1, level 1, level 1, level 4, and level 2. So basically, like I'm saying, not just these, I mean, even the other ones have drones. But I think like what happens is because I keep swapping my robots and then I forget to check on the, the drone, you know. Maybe I didn't ch uh, check properly, but I'm just saying I don't I don't check all the time on the drones because, I mean, if it goes to another robot, it doesn't matter. I mean, at some point, I will use that robot again. I've got Typhoons, which are MK2s, you know. Those Typhoons are quite powerful. So why, why would I be stuck on using just hawk or loki or something loki is good listen loki is very good loki to me loki is um is good for getting beacons because he's got stealth so you can be running around the field the only thing is a lot of the robots can target you in stealth so just back in the day yeah loki's were terrible <laughs> you know they would just be running around you'd be like how come we lost the night so quickly what happened how did you get the beacons that, that that was the Loki. That that Loki's were dangerous when they first came on the scene. They caused so much havoc and damage, you know. You know what I did here? I I made a mistake. I should have used my Erebus because this is where Erebus would shine. You see those lasers? You see those those lasers? Those are Prisma. That's the actual weapon being used. So whoever you see that, he's getting targeted. He's not suffering damage at the moment. You, you see all of those? I don't know if you guys can actually see them properly. They were firing. They're firing on this guy here. You see those? They, they've, it's very faint. It's a very faint laser. You see that that red? Red or bluish or whatever you want to call it. That's that's the prisma. So whoever's on that side is using prismas. So I'm trying to help this dude like to alleviate. Uh, he's dead. 
and he was he was piloting a mouse. That's why I was saying that the fact of having a new robot doesn't always guarantee you success, especially if those guys have good weapons. Oh my God, I'm gonna use, lose my robot. Ah, <laughs> see that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so we are, no, um, I thought we were on the other side. That's a pity. So I'm with uh, my mouse robot, got locked on weapons with this guy, got the turrets. Oh my God, I don't like this robot, the surf. I mean, it's, it's really powerful when it's on the top, but as soon as he lands, boy, oh boy, it becomes easy, easy kill, <laughs> you know? I'm just saying, that's the truth. Those robots are good when they're in the air. They cause so much damage. They can target multiple enemies. But once they land, no. Nope. Once they land, they're like paste. You can, you can destroy them easily. Oh, my God. Oh, damn. <laughs> you see that? Oh, my gosh. The guy was doing some heavy damage. Oh, look at that, Skyros. <laughs> How long did he last? A few seconds and he's dead. Oh, that's an angler. That's going to cause some damage now. He's going to cause some damage. Need to destroy him quickly. Ah, oh, nice one. Yeah, let's go in there, buddy. Let's nail this guy to the wall. Going to drop my turret just to cause a diversion. Oh, my God. We got him. I missed the guy. I tried to hit him with my mothership, but no, let me go up there and get that. And get that beacon. Oh my god, what's hitting me? Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm gonna drop this so I can quickly get this. Oh, sh he's destroying me. Ah, damn. You know what, I have to stop that guy before he destroys my entire squad. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> damn. Oh, my God. We're winning, though, but damn, that, that thing is badass. See how much damage he did. It's because he's got four of those. I've got that weapon as well, but I don't have it like in a pack like he's got. Yeah, this guy needs to be destroyed at all costs. Everyone should target this dude. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he, he needs to go <laughs> because if he doesn't die, the entire squad is finished. Come on, man, don't push me, man. Let's let's get this guy. Why is he running away? That's what I hate about this. Get him, kill him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the end. <laughs> the guy was saying, kill everyone. <laughs> I was like, no. That's not going to happen. What? He's got two. What? My God, he's got two of those nasty rowers. No, we've got to kill him. <laughs> he's got two of them. What? Going? Oh, my God. Wow, this one's got spears on it. <laughs> He's annihilating the squad. <laughs> you know, it's it's not it's not even like he's getting beacons. He's just he's just killing everyone. Overpowered, you know. If everyone just targets this dude and kills him, we will we'll win this game because I don't think anyone's got. Yes, good, good. He's about to die. What's he doing? Stop running. Why is it I, I press on my ability and it doesn't do the thing? Thank God. Thank you so much. That guy had to die. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm feeling so happy. Oh my God. Who's eating us now? I'm just saying, pregnant. Oh, you know? 
I'm like, what's going on here? Man. Come on, where's my robot? Where's this Titan going? It's too late. We've we've lost. Ah, oh my God! Ah, oh, we we lost. <laughs> no, we lost. No, we can't win. No, look at these spears. You know those those spike things. Look at that. Look at the amount of damage these things do. Ah. Well, he got knocked out in the end, but still, he caused damage. If we win this game, now nah, we're not gonna win. <laughs>